Good morning everyone and happy 7th of December. I hope you're all doing very well. It is a very cold one today here. It says on the weather app it is zero degrees outside and feels like minus four. So I am in a jumper. You wouldn't guess it from the sunlight would you but yeah cold one today so in a jumper not a handmade one but um yeah, all wrapped up, staying inside. I'm not at work today. I do work part-time at my other job and then do this crafting on the side. So yeah, plans-wise today, I need to get on again with craft fair mix. I'm gonna do some Christmas decorations, some more squiddies and focus on some hats and scarves, finishing off things like that. I also need to have a FaceTime with Jack soon because I was getting on with my knitted hat last night and I think I've made a mistake. To me, it looks like there's an extra stitch and it didn't feel right at the time. So he thinks I've done something called a yarn over, which I'm sure anyone who can knit and is watching this is thinking, yeah, that's probably what it is and it's easy to correct and all of this, but I've never done that. So I really want Jack to show me. I don't want to mess it up. And I also don't want to have to wait till I see him again in a few days until I can knit again. I want to get it sorted. Uh, yeah, but... I'm not bothered, it's all part of the learning process, of course, and yeah. So we're gonna have a FaceTime soon while the light is good and hopefully fix that so I can get on with it again later today. And yeah, other than that, just crafting really. So I'll take you along for the day and catch up with you later on. Hi everyone, I just thought I'd pop on for a bit. I've been having a productive morning. I have exported my video that goes up today, which is yesterday's, I have made some squiddies and some Christmas decorations and I thought I'd pop on to show you some of what I've been making. Of course, you saw plenty of squiddy yesterday, plenty, but I thought I'd show you one of the little Christmassy things I make for my craft fairs and that is my little mini beanie hat and it's a little tree decoration which I'm making lots of colours and looks a bit like this. So you can see that is just a super simple design, just very little. <laughs> um, and I make them in all sorts of colours. I do pink, do white ones, blue. And a lot of these yarns have um, sparkles in them. Still, you know, that's the one. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. Oh, it's just another white one, but with a grey pom. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. They are a really simple design of my own design, although I'm sure loads of people have done similar things. And it's just like a ribbed rectangle. Sew up the seam, cinch the top, fold it up, stick a little pom pom on and something to hang it with. Done. So perfect for craft fairs. They are a bit fiddly because there's lots of um, assembling but they don't take up a lot of yarn and they are cute and they are popular at craft fairs so that is something I love making. I've also gifted them before before I started selling them and yeah super popular so I just thought I'd show some of what I've been getting up to. I like that green. That is a very me green. So yeah I'm gonna get back on with making for now. Probably just have something like toast for lunch. I'm not feeling that hungry. I've got a coffee at the minute, um, yeah. Busy, busy day. I also have not yet had my FaceTime call with Jack about the hat, but I will do that soon while it's still light. So I will update you once that's been done. I can't film the call because I'm using the camera, obviously. But um, yeah, I will update you once that's done and see if we have saved the hat or if I'm gonna have to wait for him to fix it for me stay tuned. <laughs> Hi everyone! Oh god that was so high-pitched, sorry. Um, I've just had my call with Jack to fix the hat and I've done it, I've done it. Again I bet all of you knitters that are watching are thinking you've just done done a stitch, it's not hard, it's not hard. But I've never done it before and I've just learned over FaceTime how to do it and it's to me that's I've just learned another skill that I wasn't really even supposed to learn but I but I had to because it's part of the process and I learned how to undo a pearl and a knit and yeah so I only had to undo two and then it was a yarn over and that was it 
So, I mean, there's nothing to show, is there? Just, yeah. There was basically an extra loop on here and now it's gone. So, I can keep going now. I'm not going to until tonight. I'll um, get on with the things I should be getting on with for the afternoon. And then I can now sit down this evening, catch up on some telly and whatever and continue with the hat. I don't have to wait till Saturday, till I see Jack. Yeah. Very happy, very happy with myself, feeling proud of myself, learnt another skill. So happy. Thanks, Jack. Okay, on to more making. <laughs> we spoke I have got loads done I have made quite a few squiddies done some tree decorations and got some work done towards some of the hats and things that I wanted to work on so I have done absolutely loads which means I'm going to reward myself with a break which I'm not very good at doing I'm not very good at resting and just chilling out or yeah stopping working so I am going to do that because it's important to have breaks and yeah I've made myself a coffee for starters which is the best way to start a break and I'm gonna do some reading. I absolutely love reading, love books but I just as I say I don't give myself enough time really to do that but I've got a book I'm really excited to read because when we were in Sussex Becky passed on a book that she had recently read and it is called Heartless by Marissa Mayer and it is a book about why the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland ended up how she did so I'm really interested to read it, really intrigued. So I'm going to sit and have a break and just read a bit of this and have my coffee and then get back on with crafting a little bit later on. So I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> so many Christmassy things made and loads of squiddies and all of that sort of thing so I'm feeling very prepared for Sunday at the moment. I have also managed to get my day six vlog live and posted so it's been really nice seeing all the support on that. Thank you for all of your lovely comments. It looks like you really enjoyed the Notions Pouch Tour so a stash tour is very much on the cards. I'm not sure if I'll wait till after the craft fair or whether or not I do it tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> But uh, it'll probably be a long one because I've got a lot in my stash. But yeah, so thank you for all the lovely comments and support on that. If you enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe and, you know, comment. It's so lovely hearing from you all. And I always forget to say all these things, but yeah, it's really lovely. And it, the support means a lot and it's really helpful to help my channel grow. So yeah, I'm going to switch off for the night and just chill out a bit I think maybe do some more reading so thank you again for joining me and spending some time with me and I will see you again tomorrow for day number eight good night <laughs>